What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited for this deck. This is going to be a mix between Flag Swarm and Conjure. So there's a lot of really cool combos. First of all, uh, you're running the Flag Swarm. So you're going to be basically passing turn one uh, and playing Flag Zombie with one drops on turn two. Now we're not running like the really powerful, you know, one drops, like obviously no Con Man. We're not running Teacher in this deck. Definitely not enough tricks. Uh, genetic Experiment is super powerful, but we're running Conjure cards. So this can actually actually grow if they go after your flag zombie this will already grow this also conjures you another guy so there's actually a huge synergy between flag flag zombie and conjure because like if this gives you a one cost card you can play it immediately even if it's a two or three cost card uh, it's still going to be discounted from the flag zombie so you're really getting like double discounts uh, whenever you again conjure something with uh, when you have a flag zombie on the field the other really cool thing I want to do is if your flag zombie lives because you're gonna have other threats on the field like your um like your genetic experiments they're gonna have to go after on turn two the the, the, the cosmic sports star I got this idea from uh, a guy named zip one of the many people on the stream named zip so um, th this will actually give you really good value because this you're gonna be playing for two. And then you're getting be getting this card, like, even if that card on turn three costs four, it'll go down to one. Like, you can play, a, like, a drum mate, this plus drum major on turn three, uh, if you have the flag zombie on the field. Obviously, the more minions you have is always going to be better because you have these going virals. You also have Warlord, which is really interesting. So, again, you're going to be spreading your board very thin. Uh, your, you know, lane management's going to be a thing in this deck. But the Warlord really makes it worth it because all of your cards are actually going to be pretty high stat. The other cool thing is that for the one drop, we're running Buried Treasure. And this will actually, not only is a Conjure card, so it has, again, synergy with everything like the space time. Um, it also makes you not run out of board space. Uh, because you can always play a more powerful card like Mix of Gravedigger, Warlord, Space Time, anything you want on top of this. Uh, so that'll definitely help out. Again, if you play even Buried Treasure on turn one, it lives. You play your Space Time uh, on turn two. On top of that, that'll give you a Legendary that costs two less since it's discounted both by Space Time uh, and by the Buried Treasure itself. If you have Space Time on the field, which makes every card you conjure cost one less, so then again, same sort of combos. You can play Middle Manager and then play that other card for very cheap. Uh, same thing with the Cosmic Sports Star. The Mixed Up Grave Digger is going to be a, a combo with everything in this deck because it's going to be putting your Conjure cards, like your Cosmic Sports Star and your Middle Manager, back into Gravestones. When they pop out, they're going to conjure another thing. It's also going to reactivate your Warlord. This is going to give things an additional 1 1 buff after it pops out of that Gravestone from the Mixed Up Grave Digger. Pogo. Uh, just a really good way to tie the deck together. You can definitely play this on turn three after you've done a flag swarm play, which is really good. And then you can, of course, reactivate that with a mixed up gravedigger. This is also a professional zombie, so we have a couple of professionals in order to buff up your middle manager, besides for the, obviously the natural one that it always conjures. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about sort of this way of going about a flag swarm deck. We're, I mean, this deck's not going to run out of steam. We're just going to have cards for years. Um, and then we're really going to uh, probably very consistently get a warlord on a on a full field and again once you play warlord every card like middle manager gets two buffs it will give you a card and then the other card also gets the buff so uh you're definitely getting like a lot of double value in this deck i think this is going to be cool i hope you guys enjoy let's get right into the game thank you Ilya. give a man a fish and he will eat for a day teach a man to fish and he will sit in a boat and drink beer all day exactly <laughs> happy 11 months Thank you, Ilya, for 11 months. Thank you so much. Heck yeah. Needs loping telescope. We should play some LOR, by the way, Midsig. I'm up to par on that. That'd be fun. Um, that's a Legends of Rune Terra card. Overused. All right, so we have Flag Swarm. Ooh, do we... Okay, the Mix of Gravedigger comes on four. I think I'm going to get rid of this and look for just another one. This is cool. That's a cool hand. I'm going to keep the, the Cosmic. Why not? I want to see if this is really effective. Too bad you can't do this with Leap. Well, you can't do Flag Space Time Leap. You can do Flag Leap, though. Would that be cool? Not a terrible idea. Flag Swarm Leap. Cosmic Sports there. I'll write it then. Flag, Leap, Cosmic, Sports. 
Uh, the bets. If you think this deck will go 8 and 2, vote yes. And if not, then vote no. Who knows? Who even knows? I'm going with that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure the flag zombie goes here to buff the middle manager. Man, we got another one. This is crazy. Guys, this is already nuts. This is already nuts. If we get another one drop, I'm just going to grab the legendary right off, right off the bat here. Are you kidding me? Bro. Um, so I guess we're just activating this now. Guys, this is insanity. This is insanity. This is not okay. This is not okay. There's a, 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 a zero cost teleport. Um. Yeah, why not, man? If he berry blasts this, I'm teleporting this in. Oh, I can't. Uh, so these middle managers are all going to be just going out of control. I should really be... Yeah, they're going to go to two attack and then three attack. <laughs> this is crazy! <laughs> this is... Yeah! <laughs> you think that's going to help you, boy? I'm putting... I, I can't actually teleport it in, but we'll use this teleport later. Um, I'm just going to put this guy here. I'm just going to keep on charging these middlemen. Maybe I should put Headstone Carver instead. Because it, it kind of ensures that we're... Well, I think like this will actually protect them. It'll die. He's going to have to play a minion eventually. Yeah, this is fine. These guys are going up to 3-2 now. I love this so much. Actually, if he passes, then, then it's better. Yeah, nice try, bro. This the black IP dies for free. La di da di da. Maybe I should have played teleport to buff these two cards again. Oh, <gasps> would that have been a million IQ? Nah. We'll keep it up. We'll keep going. Mixed up grave digger, cool. Um, what is the play? Do I? Is this the turn I teleport and look for something? What am I even looking for though? These middle managers are crazy. I could just play this. I can also teleport this in. Who knows what I'm gonna get from here? What am I? What would I rather have here? Than 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 a two two. I don't. You know what? I'll save the teleport. It's very unlikely I'm gonna get anything. I don't know. Even space time. It's a zero cost armor mostly. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. So these grow again. I don't think I'm gonna mug. So, yeah. I guess he can block, and Biggin doesn't do anything now, though. Uh, his super would trade with us. And... Time to Shine doesn't do a damn thing. This guy is so messed up right now. The mug's not even a terrible play. Dude, the teleport's actually more useful now. These guys are at four. Should I just put the headstone carver? Yeah. Let's put this here to make it lethal in every lane. That's so good. And if he removes this, I'll just teleport another thing in if he tries to OTK me here. Really actually good defensive teleport. Lad, <laughs> nice try, bro. <laughs> Guaranteed lethal. What, he's looking for an answer. He doesn't have an answer, so he's looking for some miracle. I don't know what it would be. There's nothing that heals that costs two. Got him. Guys, that was insanity. That was insanity. That was crazy, bro. Don't say we just hit 83,000 on anything. Heck yeah. That was crazy! <laughs> no, guys, that was nuts. That was completely nuts. You know, the best thing there would have been a warlord. That would have been awesome. I mean, it's a hand. You can play this on one. This should be fine. Just fine. 
So this is gonna go here. We'll play this. Hopefully it doesn't have a click P. It even trades with everything else. It's fine. The even trade. I guess I'll play around bog and play this on heights. There's no reason not to. That is so cool. Maybe I'll save heights for like a conjuring things, you know. There's a there's a chimney swing. But now we're getting conjure discounts. So which one of these do we play? I think because of the middle manager synergy, we're probably gonna get a third playable card here. Headstone Carver. Not great. I could have really gone for the cosmic. Maybe that was really the turn to go for that cosmic, huh? I think I'm going to save this. We actually have like Pogo and Mug in this deck for Headstone Carver. Maybe I'll just play this here. Yeah, because if he doesn't remove anything, I have a really good going viral next turn. If he does, this will just, you know, absorb his super and stuff. Uh, we'll be taking suggestions for the next short roast after the stream is all done. So use this in big end. Definitely not dominating as hard as we were before. This stays, by the way. Space time's dead, but this is cool. This is actually a good trade here. I think just uh just bucket boy. Okay. Plant food is really good for him though. Oh snipe! So the question is, do we do we frenzy? Uh, doesn't make sense. Let's just take the trade. Take the L. That's a good Snapdragon. Like it, dude. We're getting messed up. We're getting messed up. Okay, let's see. Come on, Cosmic Sports Star. Give me, don't give me a one drop. See, this is garbage. Whatever, man. Okay, here. That's the problem. I think that sometimes if he gives you a card that costs like two or more, it's good. If he gives you a, a, a garbage, then yeah. What is- oh my gosh, we're getting wrecked. <laughs> this guy is actually wrecking us. He draws an extra card too, jeez. Where's our pogos and mugs and stuff? We need a way back into this game here. Here's Warlord. Uh, I think I'll- I think I'll Warlord. It really- it really can- can- can do- eh, that's nice. It's pretty good. Uh, we're actually not doing that bad now. And again, we're just not... I know it looks like we had card advantage a second ago, but we really don't. <laughs> He's just bananying everything. Where's my pogo? Wait. What is this? Okay, this guy is so annoying. He's drawing two more cards now. That's crazy, guys. Banana peel, snapdragon, plant food is the combo. Ah, uh, this actually does trade, so... You gotta play defensively here, can't take 5 damage, <laughs> no way. We kinda have this weird advantage, we also have a lot of health in hand. Okay, this is the turn, guys, this is the one, this is the one, no, no, no. here we go. This, this is the one, guys. Put this here. Put this... Come on. Come on! Come on, don't give me garbage! Oh, that is fine. That is fine. That is fine. That is that is so insanely fine. Let's go. Uh, actually, if we get a zero cost, we can go in viral now. Um, is that good enough? I think it is. Yep, it's good enough. It's good enough. It's a it's a body. It's actually a two two now. So I guess the warlord corrects the terrible things that Cosmic Sports are. It's given us two of these so far. The first one did nothing. But now this is going to be a 3-3. It's actually better to get this than to get something that actually costs even one at the end of the day. This is godlike. Hello. Don't have a trick. Don't play a trick. See, he thinks he's trading well. Don't have a trick. No, no, no. No, 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 no. God damn it. Okay. You know what? That's fine. This is still a great going viral. 
Oh my gosh, but he's drawing all these cards. What is with this guy in the party time? This is crazy. He... What is this deck? What is this deck? He's... What is this deck? How is this working? How is he doing this? He's... We're still okay, actually. After all that, we probably have to just heal our face, right? There's Mug. Can we play both of these? What turn is it? What is this deck we're fighting against, though? How is he pulling this off? Banana peel? Okay, I guess I have to do this. It's actually turn eight. Look at the plays, guys. So we're actually going to heal our face. Guys, we're healing our face. Then we're doing this. We're actually healing our face for like for 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 eight this turn, and we're also gonna conjure another card. This is incredible. This is incredible. <laughs> we're actually still gonna win, and we're gonna frenzy something too, man. That's crazy, bro. Who knows what we're gonna get? I'm probably gonna frenzy. Well, do we have to frenzy lane one? If this goes, damn, jeez, this guy. What is this guy? Okay, that was really lucky. This is really really lucky. What am I frenzying? We're still- and everything also has a buff, so we're still not running out of steam, ever. This is so cool. Are you kidding me, bro? That's a really cool swimmer, especially after we've played Warlord. Like, bro? For real? Now, I think I might want... I might want to just kill this repeat moss, right? If we frenzy... The thing is, I kind of want a good swimmer. That the huge swimmer is going to be amazing. Ah, eh, screw it. I'm frenzing this one. It's been a while since I've watched your stats, stream. Which has had a little extra health. In. It also makes this look. Yeah, that's got to be worth it. It means the repeat moss oh. trades with us. Doesn't really matter. Freeze makes it kill for free. Super kills this. Ugh. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Every card is good. See, like, the flag zombie is actually okay now that we've played a warlord. Thank you so much to Afro the Almighty for five months. Heck yeah. Okay, so at least the repeat moss is dead. What else do we get? So it's flag, space time, and definitely swimmer this one. So the swimmer copies the 6 2. It gets double buffed by warlord. It copies a buffed card, but also gets this extra buff, so it'll be a 7 3. Um, cool, we're out of steam, but we have a lot more conjure left. The, he has so many cards because of his party times. Okay, I have to run this stack. Uh, it, it's gonna be a, a nightmare to play, but it's gonna be fine. Who is this guy? It's gonna be... Repeat, Moth, Banana, Peel, Party, Time... Damn. Snapdragon. Plant food. <laughs> this guy's crazy. He's nuts. He actually banana peeled this in and killed- This was gonna win us the game, like, straight up. We need some conjures right now. So another warlord, a mug would be fine. Pogo would be okay. Really just rather a conjure. That's okay, we take those. We do take this. This goes here, so we don't die to just like, I don't know what. Some craziness happening in lane one. Damn. I'd love to conjure a card. So that's what I was worried about, but still a lot of damage. In fact, I think it's guaranteed lethal now. Because we don't have any superpower to use our, our Neptuna super. I don't think like there's anything that actually deals with us. Ow. Yeah, we lose. Look at Giga Chat over here getting it done, though, man. Unbelievable, this thing. He's also running Click P and Gatlin. Where did he get this from? Lucky.
Guys, that, that guy was nuts. He was crazy. What was that game? That was incredible. That was just a, 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 an amazing feat, and he actually beat this deck. We were we were really we had some really good stuff going. It just outvalued us. Unbelievable, unbelievable that guy. Jeez, there's flag. Do we keep going viral here? Seems like a lot to keep both of these. That's cool. Yeah, that deck was crazy. Ugh. I can't believe that works, though. I mean, just what party time was like. Party time carried him. Easy. It just doesn't seem like it had enough tempo, but maybe it did. Banana Peel and Snapdragon was, was insanity, guys. Like, for real. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Just Berry Blast really hurts us here. I guess it's okay. Beans! That's fine. That means we get Pogo. We definitely take those. Wow, that's so good. Look at the value. The flag zombie. Damn, what an underrated card. Uh, that's what you're worried about, bro? Okay, see ya. We actually get the mug. We get turn three pogo, turn four mug here. Unbelievable. Please don't block. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Damn, the Virginia roll. That hurts. Look at this craziness, guys. It, it means he can actually cycle cap us right now if he has it. Well, kind of. Not really. He can set up the environment at least and get us next turn. But we have it going viral. We'll be fine. We're doing so much here. Should probably start checking these, right? Mugs and five. Mugs in five, genetics in four. So this is a flag zombie. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we in good shape. Oh, is we in good shape. Maybe I should have let this die. Yeah. We rolled another, we rolled five once. That's crazy, man. I'm still from that last go. He didn't even kill my guy, that's okay. He thought maybe he didn't want me to have a lane for another mix of Grave Diggers in there. Or he really needed to block five. You know? He's so messed up right now. Even if he cycle caps, he doesn't have enough uh he doesn't have enough sun to finish us, is the problem. You just copy that guy's deck and I'm like, maybe I should do that tomorrow, man. What a crazy What a crazy dude. Is there some way I can put that in the highlight? Maybe I should actually. I probably really should put that in the highlight kind of. <laughs> That's cool. Um, hell yeah. There's really no use in blowing. He doesn't do anything. So, we usually just win here. We're rolling all ones. <laughs> Feel bad for this guy, man. Jeez. I'm, I'm really happy how this deck's going. Real happy. There's a uh, three twenty. <laughs> More like four twenty. Give me a second. I actually just gonna write some notes for my editor. Cause I think that I think that that major giga chat from last game's gotta make it in the.
Uh, we're two and one right now, right? Uh, this is it here. Here's you can see Zip twelve fifty eight. I based this on on his uh, on his deck he he sent me. So thank you once again for that. Do I keep this or go? Hmm. I think I'm well. I think this. I think the pogo is good enough. If he plays haunted pumpkin, I blow it. Period. Base. <laughs> Is number 69 highlight gonna be special? Hell yeah. It should have been out a week ago already. I don't know what's going on there. Slave just dead. So this will go here. La dee da. Look how good this combo is, guys. This is crazy. I'm just seeing what we conjure. Would I even play Chimney Sweep? I'm putting this on Heights so it doesn't die to Scorch. Uh, I guess it didn't matter. I probably should have played this in the middle since we know he doesn't have Scorch, right? That is okay. Nothing dies. Man. I guess I just blow this dude. Does he kill something? There's the Scorch. I'd almost rather this die to Scorch. That's fine. We play Pogo. In fact, we play Pogo and bounce whatever he's ramping to. Is there a reason to try for going viral here? No way. What is this? He's ramping to... I don't know what. I don't even know what. That's fine, though. That actually gives our middle manager some... The real heat. That's fine. So this one will... This one will do three. Oh, we... The tree. The valley. Like now, what do we go for? That, this, and and going viral again. We could also just go for flag blow. I don't think well, blow's never gonna be good here, right? All right, we'll take the good play now that we have it instead of getting greedy for future turns with cards we don't even know we're gonna have. This is huge value here, especially against again just swarming mushrooms. Catch up mechanic, come on, man, don't do that. Don't do that to me, bro. Wow, he he went after the flag zombie instead of going after this monster over here. This only grew, guys, game mechanics. The bottom thing of an evolution always happens before the top. So this bottom card, the shelf shroom, resolved in killing a minion, this only grew three times instead of four. Very cool. <laughs> Look at the damage. By the way, his two his um his two damage cards are already gone, so this middle manager is hitting face. He's got scorch and button shrooms. Neither of them do a damn thing here. That's the better case, I think. Oh yeah. Oh no, he does two down. Oh, no. Here goes. <laughs> These pine clones are gonna hurt. I should probably play around pine clones. Right? That's actually six. Jeez, that's a lot of damage. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, brother. Is the cosmic more value here? I don't know. What do we do here? Space time cosmic? I mean, we can't really hit face anywhere. I'm gonna say space time cosmic. And it's a setup play for next turn. Well, probably bouncing this lane is actually better, right? All right. Pogo blow. What the heck, bro? Get out of here. So he gets one punish room shot. Only one. This is this is a 50-50 of just winning the game, right? Yeah. Kind of. Uh, that should do it. Cuz now yeah, either one that hits. When he has to roll double threes, this is only recourse. Nope. Close. But no cigar. Just like that. <laughs> this deck is cool. This deck is really cool, man. 
This deck does a lot of things. The, the flag zombie's just been insane with the conjures, man. Heck yeah. I, I'm discouraging sniping, of course. Especially using a deck that counters mine. That's just... It's just some... Some ewy booey gooey. I think we go for this. There's nothing that really, again, trades well. So we just go one, two, three. This is fine. This is really... Playing this on one is a little underrated, I think. I'm not so happy about this 2-2 body, but I guess we have two ways of buffing it, so... Uh. Because there's it even trades with everything except for Clickbee, but Clickbee trades up with everything in the game. It makes two cost three threes in the deck. Um, this looks really good. I'll put this one on the ground since it doesn't die as badly as Spike Weed as some other things. Now, if he goes after, if he doesn't go after this, this is insane. It'll be a one cost four three by the time he can deal with it. Um, if he does go after it, it's fine. This doesn't even deal with the space time. We can always drag it next turn. So, probably this guy. Looks good to me. Let's see what we get. Come on, give us something good. Don't give us a 1 1. That is cool. That is very cool. We can maybe do something with that later. We actually have a couple of sports cards in this deck. There's a spike weed <laughs> eating my words. But that's fine. You know what? It took a couple of cards to deal with that. That is okay. Hell yeah, brother. I can't wait to play this. We can't really do it yet. I think we just keep on tempoing. The pogo actually sets it up, too. It's never gonna matter. You could Shamrock at my 1-drop, that would be a good play. Or you can Wingnut against Pogo and get absolutely wrecked. You can also do that. So this actually kills Wingnut, right? This is very good. This is also just a 2-cost 4-4, four, four, so... So hell yeah, brother. Damn. 3... Should probably go for going viral here, right? Yup. So again, this, this, I have to literally check this because I hardly ever play it. This clears his field. I'm doing it, guys. I am so doing it. I'm just playing it dry on the pogo. I don't care. It kills both of these. It's amazing. I'm definitely not playing Mug, that's for sure. It's definitely enough value. It covers a 3-3 three, three, though. It's probably worth it. Two, one. Two, three. Definitely not this one. Yeah, it's just this thing going viral. So again, this this kills it. This kills because now it goes down to two. Bye, Triceratops. See ya. You think you're untrickable? <laughs> Not anymore, bitch. <laughs> and it's just going viral. So good, man. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about, guys. It's like literally what I'm talking about. <laughs> La di da di da. That's fine. <laughs> More value! We. I really can't mug, can I? Keep healing, it's fine. Where's Warlord? That's all I want. We're conjuring another card here. We, we're gonna have so many options for this turn. I'll just play this too. Bye, flag. Survey says. Hmm, that's not bad. Free super power. It's going viral. Crazy. Craziness. Utter insanity. So we're giving one of these. I think the superpower is going to be better than the body here, which doesn't even break through. Uh, that's a free Quasar. That's 
backup dancers. I guess if he doom shrooms, the backup dancers will be pretty good here. There'll be backup dancers going viral. Not bad. How do you fix Chum Champion? I don't know. Make into a gravestone. There's no actual way to play around Gloom Doom Shroom and like Blockbuster. It doesn't make sense. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this guy's dead. This is so fun. It's working too. It's not just like one of these RNG decks that's like, uh. This is dominant. I mean, that one game we lost. Like, props to that guy. Oh, man. To Giga Chad. <laughs> Giga Chad banana peel guy. Uh, chess is not sports, no. Only sports cards would be Pogo and Cosmic. Sports star. Yes, get wrecked. Get out of here, man. I ain't changing a damn thing. We're halfway through this. I ain't changing a damn thing in this deck. This is just doing everything right. I just feel like we're not getting Warlords enough, to be honest, because we end up with these full fields when we can play Warlord and just not even a mug in hand, man. We'll get a game like that where we just Warlord mug a few times and, <laughs> and die to Doomshroom, because that's a stupid card. Heck yeah. How would you use the Evolve? Yeah, you get rid of the Evolve ability completely. Something like that. I don't really know. It's... I don't know. I don't know me. I guess Zombot... Zombot, you know, with Immortitia is pretty top tier. Pretty high tier. Oh, top tier? It's pretty high tier. That's fine. We take those. Pry up. What's your favorite drug? I don't do drugs. Oh, um, my favorite drug is Tecta. It's an acid reflux a, a drug, and it's really, really has been a, a great thing in my life. I guess I'm playing around Shrinking Violet, technically. Also slightly playing around Rotobega. Fry, what's your favorite crime? Mine is arson. <laughs> <laughs> What are the bets that a lot of people vet no for this? 70% voted no for this deck? Jeez. Oh well, I guess you yes voters. I think you guys are gonna make some money today. So we have the flag cosmic combo. Let's see if we get it. the cosmic the cosmics have not been great. Not gonna lie. But we also have the the, the we're conjuring two cards here. Maybe one of them will be playable. That's that's okay though. That is okay though. And we're actually gonna get a um Yeah, that's a zero cost two three frenzy. And he's shrinking, damn it. We actually don't even have a four to play, but I have to do this so he doesn't get to get a huge guy on the field next two games. Alright, so we got shrinking violeted. Just going viral for a card. This is such a sad hand. Look at our hand. The whole thing costs five. God damn. I mean, who knows? We could lose this one. We lose this one. We're in a rough sitch. I think we need this for a card. Right, we're just too far off curve. We're doing nothing this turn, so it's for a little value this turn, but we're just too far off, off curve if we... Uh... I think Warlord is pretty good against Rose because it makes Mog and Goat exceedingly sad. Man, seven, huh? This has to be right. I think we just chump block. We're at 20 health. That's what we got going here. So we just chump block with Warlord, hit him with a Mug eventually. And uh, just everything in our. Every small card is going to be insane once we get these Warlords. Activated. Rescue Radish in that deck lets you bounce party time or click P to grow more. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Rescue Radish party time doesn't sound like a very inspiring combo, I'm not gonna lie. 
I think we're doing pretty well here. This is a 3-3 go. Like, this go sucks. And this Warlord, like, wins this lane. We can- this actually sets up the Mug now. It'd be really nice. Everything also- these- see, these Cosmic Sports Stars, the- the cards are always gonna be played. This is so much value. This hand is insane, actually. I wonder at what point I gondola. I have to just- I still feel like I have to play a little defensive here, but... We're in really good shape. If this lives, too, the Mug is- is crazy here. So this is turn six. I guess we'll just space time, space time muck, and hopefully he doesn't have a a, a, a cool bean. There's Cobb can. I can't really pl afford to play around things right now. He's just going face. He has to. I I hope he kills the goat. That would be nice. He <laughs> he needs this damage. This board would have been so scary, but he just refuses to go face. Bro, come on, man. I don't know about that. He's running bog. Okay. So the question is, what do we... How do we do this now? I don't even think I mug here. I think I play space time and then start conjuring some stuff. Hell yeah. These are probably... Well, I kind of have to play both of them, right? What would this have to cost? This card would have to cost... If it was five, it would still be playable, right? And if not, I guess I'll just try this one. I should have played that first, but that's okay. That's so strong! Look at the conjures! So we have the, the pogo. Okay. <laughs> it's still 4-4, four, four, I don't care. This is so cool! It's nice how we can activate another li See, Mog, it doesn't do anything! It doesn't do and that's not even the card you want to Mog. That's a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> it's so sad! He needs to go face! Okay, um... <laughs> Yeah, that would have had to have zero attack for that to work out, but nice try, buddy. Okay, that's really sad, that shrinkings. Now he actually gets some damage. Damn, the flicks, though. Now what do we do? Just chump block. Three and four. Let's see what we got. Baseball. At least it's a zero cost card. Might actually have to bounce Cobb Cannon here. These shrinking violets are actually really hurting. Probably do have to bounce the Cobb. Be ready for impact. If he, if he bounces it, if he kills this lane, anyway. Nice, sore. It's okay. This is not scary, because we're, we're bouncing next to him. So, let's just get rid of... This one. Don't give him the cob back. Uh, we're taking zero, which is what we want. He actually rolled double threes there. Um, so the cards are Weed Whack and Freeze. That Freeze didn't do anything, because I'm a card though. I'd love to develop this gondola sooner than later. Question is, do I go for Warlord here? How necessary is it to mug this turn? Let's look up to five and trade. I probably just have to keep playing defensively. So if I if the, the mug is so sad here. I mean, 
mean, it's not super sad. It's just slightly sad. Um, <laughs> guys, guess which one's the imp? I'll give you a hint. He thick. War Alert's too risky against removal. The Mug actually gets this off the board, so I'll just bounce this back. This is the worst card. <laughs> and the Imp dies, so it gives us another play. So I'm just gonna actually just put get on the field here. This dies for free. We're fine. So we're bouncing uh, this one. And the genetic experiment is here. I'm pretty sure that that trades. Now I can't really see its stats. I'm pretty sure it has three attack after all that. Because it starts off at... It starts off at... I don't even know. Does this have three attack? Yep. Yes, it's a three four. Don't even worry about it. And we this zero cost is actually really, really good here. Because it makes this lane not kill us. So it's going to be five. Doesn't really matter, right? Then we can go zero, play five, this monster. So we're on the triple warlord game here. I know, that bug, they should never patch that bug. <laughs> it's just fun, why patch it? It doesn't ruin anything. Thank you, Frieza Rap, for 10 months. Now what? I don't even know if Dragon does anything. He doesn't have a lane for it. And he's getting hit so hard, he can't even drag in lane 6. And if he just clears more minions, I mean, we have Conjure in our hand. We have a 3 cost 5-5 five, five that gives us at least, like, another 4-4. Four, four. Grey Zucchini makes 4-4s four, on the field. <laughs> just to put it in perspective. I hope he Carnucopias. That would be cool. Yeah, Grey Zucchini is guaranteed lethal for us, unless he has another 1-drop. Just get wrecked, man. No! Imagine Dragon! Okay, decent play. It does mean that our, our gondola actually conjures, which is very cool. This kind of clears three minions here. Oh no, it doesn't even conjure we win. Never mind. We'll never know what it comes out of the fear. <laughs> that, that they need to pass. When cards die after they've been buffed by Warlord, they get reduced by one attack and one health at a time, which is like, I don't, I don't understand why. Just kill the minion. They don't have to nerf it first. But anyway, the Conjure kept us in the game, though, guys. Who's your favorite man in the whole world, Obama or Nicolas Cage? Those are the only two choices? <laughs> They're both pretty cool guys, not gonna lie. Did you watch Arcane? Hell yeah. Favorite show ever. Love it. This deck is so greedy. I don't know, man. That's you! Whoa. Um, so you can play this on one, even if it dies to a super, it's not that bad because it's still conjuring us another card. Hell yeah. Oh, it's not even a super, it's just a poison shroom. What's this guy's problem? Can we get another one drop, please? That's so annoying, but I have to do this here. Should I gravestone this because we need a three? Hell yeah. Well, we need a... yeah. We need something to play. Can I get a card here, please? Heck yeah, brother. Rudder. At least makes him use resources to, to kill this. Yeah, this deck is insane. This should be okay against aggro if you can get a flag swarm going early now. We're, we're bricked with all of our late game. It's just berry blasting us. Survey says... Teacher's cool. I'll take the teacher. Great card. Uh, so Pogo in one, and then Warlord next turn. Should be good. Should be just fine. 
Yup. Bryce Hodder than Ryan Reynolds. I think it's subjective. If you like, you know, skinny guys, then probably Ryan Reynolds. But if you like Harry Caveman, then <laughs> I definitely win that competition. Oh, the misery. Exactly. I think don't activate this lane again. I'm just gonna warlord this guy until he shuts the f shuts the hell up. <laughs> oh, are we getting pine cloned right now? No! <laughs> Please, daddy. Don't do it. Gosh, what a great pine clone too. No! <laughs> no! Wait! Buff shroom! Okay, that's so much less scary. For real. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> What a play. So as long as we block this, we're okay here. Uh, Frenzy doesn't do a damn thing here, right? How important is keeping an extra minion alive here? I think it's important because we have to just protect our... We just have to not die. We will win this, this attrition game. We just have to make sure we don't die a horrible death. Probably conjuring is the way, right? I'll play this first. Bucket boy. I don't think warlord is correct here. Bucket boy teacher looks good. Like for real. We can also go pogo. Probably pogo teacher, right? I think once the field becomes more stable, we'll, we'll go for non-pogo plays. The pogo is so important. Imagine this was a backyard bounce, by the way. Ugh. Do anything. That's crazy. Jeez. Oh, we have to bounce this one. That was such a good gloom shroom. I mean, that's literally the best thing you could get. We are taking some heat. We have to get some small conjures in order to be able to survive here. Again, we can get back into it eventually. We just have to not die. Blocks are cool. Blocks are bay. Healing our face is cool here. Hopefully we just get some cheap conjures. Maybe this should have been something else, though, for this inside of Berry Box. Is healing our face the prerogative here? The priority? Probably. So now we don't die. To, um... I mean, Gloom Shroom would be... Yeah, Gloom Shroom in, in, in 3 would kill us. That's okay. We survived that. We still survived that. Jeez. That's fine, actually. This really, these cards aren't getting faced, and that was his last card. I think we win this, guys. The Conjurer has shown us the truth. We always don't give him another card here, right? We still have to clog lanes like insanity here. The worst case scenario. There's a bucket boy. Probably five one one. This dies though. He's not gonna like win in lane one. I think this is right.
And it, we're at four, so we're out of Berry Blast and Gloomshroom range. Everywhere. His best play is a Gloomshroom in one. Yes! Yes, we made it. Okay, I mean, we'll see. He did zero. The exact correct amount. Now he only has one minion left on the field. Let's go, guys. Man, the ability to come from behind, too, with all these freaking conjures is crazy here. So it's going to be 5-3-1 five, five, could be okay. This lane, this lane is so scary, though. This whole thing is scary. Probably not Mug yet, right? Wait, this is the scariest guy, so I'm going to stick a gravestone on him. Three, four, one, one. And it'll at least give us... This is the lane he wants to play into, right? It'll at least give us a chance to be able to, to deal with some insanity here. I like mugging after, especially if we can get an extra conjure off of it. Yeah, what is he what is he holding? He must be holding like an environment or something. I can actually start aggroing him now. I'll save this blow. We can do 5514. Five, Jeez, we almost got him. Almost home, guys. And you know what? Mug going viral. Mug going viral just wins. We actually reactivate this trash too, which is so cool. <laughs> Guys, it's trash mug mug synergy. Yeah, he doesn't have. I mean, have to have a grave flick. We got him, guys. He'd have to have a grave flick and set up lethal where it doesn't like die. It doesn't blow. Doesn't mess it up. We are fine. We are fine. <laughs> He's setting up. He got a puff shroom. Terrible top deck. You know, the going viral Celsius. Uh, a pine clone would be cool here. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, they didn't do anything. Sorry, dude. Your pup shrooms are <laughs> complete garbage. <laughs> Get right! <laughs> this deck is awesome! This is what I'm talking about. Man, everything. Everything works. I think that's one of the things, by the way, that Conjure is so underrated. We look at it as a tempo strategy, like you're conjuring space-time, you're getting expensive cards for cheap. Dessert? Thank you, Weenie Beanie. What's your favorite dessert? Um, I don't know. Coconut cream pie, I don't know. Favorite dessert? Oh. I'd have to think about it. Peanut butter chocolate brownies. I don't know. There's so many options. Baklava. I don't know. Listen, guys. The other thing Conjure does, though, is it just keeps clogging lanes. You end up with cheap minions. That if your opponent does, did some crazy things, like in that game. Um, you, you can just stay in the games for so long. It's the same sort of thing with, with Val Trickster Hybrid. It's a part of the deck that people don't understand. You're... You're using, you have all these cheap cards, like Beam Me Up and Quasar. Your whole way that you're stalling is a lot of chump logging. But Shrinking Violet turns out to be a good card against it sometimes. It's just too late. We we have, we need some early game though. Yeah, hell yeah. I think we pass one. I think we go 2-3. Dodo do bobo bob jub 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 do 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 bobo bob jewing jub g jub. Thank you so much, Fire JB, for nine months. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, this goes in the highest player on Scorch. And even if this gets weed whack, it's still gonna get a ton of value. Don't worry. That is fine. Bye, weed whack. Sleep stream win. Creepy. <laughs> hey! Hey, guess what? The weekly meme is the 169th subscriber. Can we get to 200, guys? Let's go. This is like Bandle City in LOR. How many people here play Legends of Rooster? Alright, let's go. The Double Conjure. One of these cards should be playable, right? Hell yeah, brudda. Give me a science card. Are you science? Nope. Is there any chance of him playing a berry? <laughs> Probably not. 
You know, this is good, and then we can actually even graveyard this one. Hmm, I wonder which one we do. Just to reactivate it. Boop. Lame. That was annoying. We know what the play is. It's just going to be... We're graveyarding something into 4 or 5. Which one do we graveyard here, though? I think this will be reactivated by the Warlord, so let's just take the Conjure. It also makes his Banana Bomb he gets next turn really sick. Banana! Oh, I just bounce it, right? And the home of the <laughs> These banana bombs are gonna become very sad. <laughs> it's a zero coster, I'll take it. The banana bombs start coming sad after you warlord. I think we just warlord here, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna warlord him every turn until he shuts the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these banana bombs? They just became so inefficient. Nothing dies to a single banana bomb anymore. La di da. It's just gonna be banana, two banana bombs and two, and a banana launcher and one. And he's gonna hope for the best. That's not gonna work at all. Berries. This man conjuring some stuff too. He's killing this one. Okay. Bye. Bye, space time. I didn't need you at all. Have a nice day. Okay. Well, this one dies. For some reason, he instead of making both of them live, he only made one live and he sacrificed this one. He could have doubled, doubled up and then... Okay, that was pretty silly. Ain't gonna lie. Do I just mug here? Yeah, we just mug. la dee da dee da <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man is dead. He's the deadest man I've ever seen in my whole life. There's the Warlord. There's the Pogo. Yep, playing into Pogo. That's nice. Very, very nice. la di da Maybe I should let the Chomper... Okay, guys, crazy idea. Let's let the Chomper activate. <laughs> I think it's a little too crazy. I just want to play another card here. Like, we can't actually play anything. We're also hitting him for a lot less damage. Our whole hands was like... Oh. What if we would... Oh, let's let's just talk theories here. What if we would have let that Chomper activate and we would have bounced this? We would have first of all done... Right now we did 7. He had 17 health. He would have been down to 10. To 7 health. Super's that. He's cool. Oh, that's nice. Never mind. If we had if this, this settles it. You know, this makes this obviously the chomper play. Uh, that's very cool, actually. Never mind. We're not going viral. No freaking way. No freaking way. You know, I want a top deck of flag zombie. This is just becoming worse every turn. You have a flag. Like, do we go for going viral here? Probably not. I just give him one of these. Come on. And we'll give him one of these. See what's in the box. Fossilized. Give him one of these. Guys, maybe he'll play a berry. You never know. You know, maybe he has a he maybe has a berry. Maybe he's a has a berry. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I know Colonel Corn doesn't do anything anymore. Play a berry. Do it. Maybe I should save that for when he actually plays a berry. He's gonna go three to chomper here, bro. It doesn't matter. You can keep killing my guy. Okay, squash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just gonna play Warlord. Warlord going viral looks good. 
La di da 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 Come on, play curl corner, do it. It's a good play. This deck is crazy. Yep, that didn't help. I, we're gonna get through everything. Can you get a great zucchini, please? Just to prove a point. <laughs> Just, look at Cornucopia. It's so sad, man. La dee da dee da. Before you can see them pressing the button. Get the heck out of here, man. Not even, no, not even close. No chance. Such a what you got. Goodbye. <laughs> La -di -da -di -da. <laughs> I like the fact that we lost a Giga Chad guy with the Snapdragon too. I feel happy about that. I don't consider that to be a <laughs> a problem. I guess if that deck also, if we would have really just gotten Pogo and Mugs, we would have completely dominated that guy. Kind of got lucky. Yeah, I got completely trashed. This is fine. This is fine. We can actually play both of these on turn three, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna spam a flag zombie and see what happens. You could chomp it. But... Is there any reason to play this? <gasps> Never mind, we get conjures. I'm playing this on the... Well... What are we even playing around? Nothing really. Oh, we. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> this game's fun. I kind of like the turn three. Oh, too bad. I was going to say I would have really liked to play this on turn three. Is Space Time Frenzy worth it? Probably not. Yes! We do take those. I'll play that for free right now. Why not? It plays around. I don't know what it plays around. Doesn't play around much. Maybe this isn't good. Are you? Um, okay. That is fine. This guy does, uh, two damage. Hell yeah. Do we need to pogo? What am I even playing around by playing pogo? I think if we play a gravestone, he doesn't play elderberry here under any circumstances anyway. Probably plays around pogo. Should, right? He shouldn't be playing B-Rex here if he sees his gravestone, so we'll just do it like this. Just stealing his son. Right? So it's gonna be flag pogo now, probably. We can go flag these two and going viral. No. Two, one, three. No. So it's flag. Flag. Just pogo. Yeah. Protect our three, two. Keep it going. <laughs> he's playing around like I don't know. I think he's playing around like um like like Tomb Raider. <laughs> like, I don't know what this guy has. So his super would be sad. All the rest of his powers don't matter here. Hell yeah, but uh, so we're doing this now. It's going viral. La di da. We're still stealing his son. It's turn six, but how would he know? Uh, this has got to be right. Every damn conjuring. Do we have a dancing zombie anywhere? Because that's a one cost. It's pretty good. Conjuring every damn. Every damn. Wow, he played little buddy last turn. I guess he must have top decked that. Every damn conjuring. You probably want this to die. Right. Five damage. 
Let it die. We don't have any dancing zombies here. It's the one that's special. Is Pogo even good here? Probably. It can also end up activating... I don't know. Bouncing this is so sad, but... I think Frenzy for five. This is so harsh, though, man. Chomzilla onion rings. Brutal. We can't even take the conjure with the pogo, which is sad. I think we're still ditching this. Because once we play going viral, which we're always playing here, these trade. This you never want to put back. That was actually the least bad one. Okay, now keeping a pogo around is probably worth it. The thing is, if he gets Scorch... If he gets super, it's no problem. Heal's no problem. Um, did he use a, his second superpower? Did he use Scorch or Heal? He might have used Heal. The thing is, if he gets Scorch, which he did not get, then this dies, and we've wasted this. But it could mean getting a getting an extra bounce, which was probably a good thing next turn, because he's probably out of his cards. Alright. He's also not necessarily blocked. Rolling a 1 here would be insane for all those reasons. God damn it. I really needed that card, too. Can you not get Scorch? Just get Hole of Flora. That's fine. Thank you very much. That's a poor damage, it's not nothing. Going viral is perfect. We, we get, we eliminate these buffs, right? Yeah. You, Scorch? I don't remember him using Scorch, my bad. So going viral breaks through here, and the space time's hitting phase, which is what we want. Uh, okay, so we definitely get rid of the, the thicker one. Yep. Thank you for using Elderberry into Pogo. We definitely need the Conjure. Most indubitably. And this dies, so we have another play. So we'll actually have three more cards coming into next turn, including the Conjure. It's another going. Just get one of these every single turn. It's fine. So we win that. Yeah, we got this guy. We just had attrition him. It's every game. We, we just out attritioned an Onion Rings deck. I mean, we haven't won quite yet. But, gosh. <laughs> the Conjure is real. <laughs> the Conjure is insane. Man. Um. Ah. Uh, Okay, so we put the small guy here. It's three... Actually, it's three, six, nine, and we just don't Warlord. You know, that's fine. We actually play both of these. <laughs> Who in the chat is saying we're losing? We're definitely winning this game, guys. Oh, is we winning? The Okay, that's that hurts. He actually wants to roll a three on this now. And then there's the last Elderberry. So, it, there's n almost never something playable. Will we get another going? There's nothing playable from either of these. Zombie, Imp, Cake would actually be playable here. I would I would probably play Cake Explosion. It's an Imp card. Just to protect our face. Here. Maybe get this one. We're usually taking three damage, blocking the seven. Hell yeah, brother. And we don't grave here. Oh, we can do that on a warlord. We haven't even played in crypt on a warlord. We rolled another one, which is nice. So we're taking five. This is scary. This is definitely scary. Okay, so Pogo, we definitely play Pogo here. And we'll probably stick it back into a gravestone. So the Pogo goes here. It's Pogo. Warlord. Come on. 
zero drop, and then we'll either encrypt or uh, or environment. Just depends how aggro we want to be versus uh, defensive. Another one. Come on, man. So this is the one with the buff. So we get rid of the one without the buff. Super is still in his arsenal, right? On the blocks. Jeez, we need that. He hasn't played a super, right? I'm actually spaced out. I can't. I don't remember what he's played and what he hasn't. But having a. Oh no! It's he uses super. I, I'm just spacing out right now. It's too many things I keep track of. But really happy with Pogo, and we have an environment. So hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Environment just wins. Another Pogo. We have Pogos for years against Nova. And his strike through is nothing really does anything because of the Pogo. I, you're right. If I knew he didn't have super, I should have played the environment. It would have been guaranteed lethal. I just, I, I, I'm just not paying attention to that. We'll win here. Don't worry, guys. We got, we got this. We got just this. Got him. There was a million ways of doing that. Heck yeah. Just like that. 30% of people voted yes for this deck. Holy cow. The answer is yes, and we still got another game to play. He used it on the experiment. Oh yeah, now I remember. I I'm sorry. I I just it's just one. Of the, I could really probably try hard and try to keep track of that. I would just break my brain every stream though. I did that during the tournament. <laughs> Doing that while I'm streaming. I can't. I can't do it. It would make me into a better player. There's a bunch of things I could be doing on a daily basis, but it would make the stream less fun for me and less fun for you. And I would play on a higher level. And I'm just like, nah. Priorities. The answer is yes. Heck yes. Bounce Meteor 4 would have been faster lethal, yeah. But that's only if he doesn't have blocked super, which he already used. Right We've already been through this. Um, probably just look for one drops. Don't get too greedy on that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There we go. Let's all do these together. Meteor lane 3 was guaranteed even if he had Sig? Why? Did he only have 3 health left? He had 5 health. So he would have Sigged in 2 and 1. He could have Sigged lane 2. New guy's saying. I don't even know what's going on. Whoops, I, I, I goofed. I can't play both of these because it plays in his super. Well... Him rumbling here is not the end of the world. You know what? I'll 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 play like that. Really the play is just flag into genetic and one. And then play both of these next turn. That's a mistake. Buy genetic experiment, I don't need you. And they both die. Come on, man. Blame. That's okay, though. That's okay. We're still doing fine. Feels bad, though. We play both of these. So cool. Uh, I'll play this in one. Just because... This is very often going to be playable here. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> the Sports Star Chain is real. That's free. We'll play that with something next turn. Fry wins the number one in place in a PvZ Heroes tournament. Also, Fry could be playing on a higher level. Well, first of all, I'm talking about stream, not the tournament. But second of all, I think that's how you win a tournament, is if you're constantly telling yourself you could be better, it could be better, it could be better. That's how you win, guys. 
If you tell yourself, oh no, my deck is already, I already have all the best decks and everyone who says that else is wrong, I mean... <laughs> it's a silly. What turn was this? It's turn four, obviously. So we can always do this next turn. Uh, these are actually playable together, yeah, we just let this happen. We're conjuring two more cards here. Bye. See you. This is still at zero. Which is very cool indeed. Ooh! I think Pogo's better. Do we play around Grave Buster? What's the other card we play here? I'll probably play something, right? Maybe we just play Pogo there. They'll probably kill one of these. I don't know for sure. Does he have Grave Buster? No! He's just throwing is what he's doing. Wasting his entire turn into bye. Have a nice day. I shouldn't have even played this though. Whoops. This was a mistake. I should have just gone for Pogo and left this lane open. But whatever. No, 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 no. Suddenly cute. Hilarious. We more bouncies. Give that man a blockbuster. Gift card. You only have to check the right two gravestones, by the way. Pogo. I don't remember where they are. Right for guaranteed, you should have bounced seven attack. It was guaranteed the way I did it though too. You didn't have any blocks. Now that'll do it, boys. You can't deal with this. Nobody can deal with this. This deck is insane, guys. Insanity. Absolute, utter insanity. This is my favorite deck in the whole freaking game right now, man. This was the most fun stream we've had in a really long time. And this deck dominated. I mean, we were coming from behind. Man, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Love it. Love it, love it. Holy moly with this deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. What? A fantastic stream. Peace, this is Fry.